CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam. Questions 16 for 20. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 16. A company's IT department has received reports that employees attempting to access the corporate website are being redirected to a malicious site. Which of the following attacks is most likely responsible? The answer is C. DNS poisoning. DNS poisoning, also known as DNS cache poisoning, occurs when an attacker manipulates DNS records to redirect users attempting to visit a legitimate website to a fraudulent one. This technique is commonly used to steal credentials or distribute malware. Because DNS poisoning affects name resolution at the DNS level, users unknowingly connect to the attacker's site instead of the intended destination. Question 17. A network administrator notices unusual traffic patterns and determines that a switch's content addressable memory table is being overflowed intentionally. Which of the following attacks is the threat actor using? The answer is B. Mac flooding. Mac flooding is an attack where a threat actor overwhelms a switch's CAM table with a high volume of fake MAC addresses. When the table reaches capacity, the switch defaults to broadcasting all network traffic to every port. This allows the attacker to intercept data that would normally be sent only to intended recipients, enabling further attacks such as packet sniffing or man-in-the-middle attacks. Question 18. A company's office has an open workspace with active network ports at employee desks. A security audit found that unauthorized visitors could connect personal devices to the corporate network using these ports. Which of the following should the company implement to prevent this in the future? The answer is C. NAC. Network Access Control, or NAC for short, enforces security policies by verifying and restricting device access before allowing network connectivity. It can prevent unauthorized devices, such as a visitor's laptop, from connecting to the corporate network by enforcing authentication and compliance checks. NAC solutions help secure wired and wireless networks by ensuring only approved and trusted devices can gain access. Question 19. A user reports losing access to a remote file server. The network administrator confirms the server is reachable via pinning and that firewall rules do not block access to the network file share. Which of the following tools would help determine which ports are open on the remote file server? The answer is D, Nmap. Nmap is a network scanning tool used to identify open ports and active services on a remote system. Since the administrator has already confirmed that the server is reachable and firewall rules are not blocking access, Nmap can help determine whether the necessary ports for file sharing are open and responding. This is useful in troubleshooting connectivity issues related to specific services. Question 20. Which of the following technologies is the best choice to listen for requests and distribute user traffic across multiple web servers? The answer is A, load balancer. A load balancer distributes incoming traffic across multiple web servers, ensuring efficient resource utilization, improved performance, and high availability. By evenly spreading user requests, it prevents server overload, reducing latency, and improving response times. Load balancers also provide failover capabilities, rerouting traffic to available servers if one becomes unresponsive. This ensures minimal downtime and supports scalability for varying workloads. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.